For today's tutorial, I am once again just creating a fantasy makeup. And for today's fantasy makeup, I am inspired by a sunset. So if you want to know how you can create a makeup just like this one, please keep watching because I will show you step by step in the coming video. For today's makeup, I am all inspired by sunset. So sometimes you have the evening sky turning orange, red, pink and purple. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. So while thinking of holiday and nice sunset, something we don't really get this year, I'm afraid, um, I came across this picture. And I think the colors are absolutely beautiful. So my makeup today will be inspired by this picture. And to start creating my sunset inspired makeup, I have a color by Superstar. This is orange. It is color number 036 and I have my smoothie sponge to put the colors on my skin. So I won't try to create the night sky on my skin, but I will definitely make a sunset inspired makeup. Now the orange is on my face and on my chest as well. I'm switching to pink. This one is also by Superstar. It is color number 101. And I will basically just fill out the rest of my face with this color. So I will blend it in a bit. And I will probably add a bit of purple and red to the makeup as well. And just by dabbing over the edge of the pink and the orange, the colors will blend. So sometimes this takes a few seconds. But if you are patient, those colors will blend lovely. I will be wearing a wig today, so I won't be painting my ears. This one is called Beachberry. It is by Meron Paradise. And it is a lovely color of red so I'll put that on my cheekbones I will definitely want to blend it with that orange so I'm first stippling the red on there and then with the side with the orange makeup I'm just blending it not to make it too red really get a nice transition from the red to the orange and from the red to the pink this purple is called la la land it is by superstar as well and i put it on the sponge that had pink on it earlier so i'm just putting a bit of that purple on my skin and trying to blend it with the red and with the pink just to give a few more colors. So this is very light purple color. There is not a lot of difference with that pink on the skin, but I will add a darker color of purple as well. And that darker purple is this one. It is called Violet and it is by Meron Paradise. So I'm blending it again with the pink side of the sponge. And finally, a hint of yellow, which I will put on the skin with the Meron Paradise yellow. So I want that yellow to be very subtle on the skin. And that's why I am blending it again with the Smoothie Blender, the one that has orange on it. And as you can see, that lightens up the makeup quite a bit. Now the basic layer of face paint is on my skin. I'm switching to the Rainbow Palette by Ben Nye. And first up, I'm gonna make my eyebrows black just to make them well, stand out a bit more in this makeup. I won't make anything fancy of it. I will just color my own eyebrows black. And I will use the same black eyeshadow around my eyes. So under my eyes and also on my eyelids Music 
In the same rainbow palette we also have white and I'm going to use that to apply some highlights. So just on the cheekbone. I do feel it's time to start decorating this makeup a bit. So I have the Essential Black by Diamond Effects on a Mark Reed brush. And basically I will just put lines with this on my skin. To add a bit of sparkle to this look, I have the Diamond Dust by Diamond Effects. This is the color Gemstone. I mixed it with the Fuse Liquid and now I can just put lines with it on the skin using a detail brush. I am back to the rainbow palette just to put a bit more shadows on the neck area because I feel I need some shadows between the black lines I just put on my skin. So I kind of feel like I'm making a warrior once again, kind of a night sky warrior. I didn't really intend on making another warrior today, but well, with the lines, it kind of feels that that is the thing I did. It is time for a wig and somehow I feel that a dark colored wig would be best for this makeup. I have a dark purple one and as there is some purple in this makeup I think that is a match. Um, let me quickly put this on. Yes that is definitely the best wig for this makeup and with that my sunset inspired tutorial for today is done. If you liked the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the link below. Stay tuned on all our videos. We have three new videos every week so definitely stay tuned.